I heard humanity was once a noble race. Love for themselves, for their fellow man, for the other denizens of the galaxy. Diplomatic to the last, resorting to force only in defense, or as a last resort. I heard they were eager to please, so enamored with the other races, so wishing to be seen with the same wonder and awe with which they saw every other species. Then it happened. Not sure what, and every human had a different story. Some mention a terrorist that threw the world into chaos. Others told of a plague that swept their home world. Others still said an economic collapse occurred on a scale never before seen in their history. Faith in government was entirely lost. Love for one another wholly forsaken. And the one that they had held in their eyes for the galaxy now dimmed and broken. Humanity had devolved into a race of pirates and wanderers, content with naught but the next meal or job. The Conclave will forever regret not intervening in human history, for out of these ashes rose a scourge still alive and kicking to this day. A human corporation, a private security firm, made its home on the ashen wasteland called Earth. None contested its rule over the planet. No one cared. But to every corner of the galaxy, this contractor called, asking humans for service in exchange for guaranteed income, meals, homes, safety. The lost flooded to the source of the calling to roves, lured by these promises and the faintest flickering of hope. It seemed a godsend for them. Infrastructure went up around the globe. Every person on the planet had a job. Unemployment was near zero. Poverty was almost non-existent. Goods were cheap and plentiful in industry. The industry took off. There was talk of a draft, but it was not needed. Volunteers rose by the millions, then billions. An army had been raised with nothing but love for the commander. The commander that had secured their future with permanent employment and plentiful food. Hell raisers, they called themselves. The soldiers of this company, the now trillion strong elite force, called themselves Hellraisers. It doesn't translate very well into trade common, ones bought by the devil. Contracts were secured across the galaxy, their reputation grew, their workmanship apparent if any job they did. The strike on the Coburn Embassy? That was them. You could trace the exact path they took through the building by the bodies they left. They never even bothered to clear the building. They went in, killed anyone in their path, made their way to the central office and shot the ambassador through the chest twice, and once in the head afterwards. Others in the building didn't even know what had happened until they opened their doors and saw bodies. It had all happened in less than three minutes. This was the efficiency, the ruthlessness the Hellraisers took with them to every contract. Bases were set up across the galaxy, Trade hubs and resupply stations speckled the charts. At this point, it was too late for any kind of conclave intervention. Their fleets were too spread, their personnel too loyal. The strike against them would be returned a hundredfold to the nearest conclave planet. Some now believe the humans to be demons of some sort, vile entities not from this plane of existence. I cannot say which side of the argument I fall upon. I have seen humans killed like any other race. They bleed, cry out, die. I have also seen impossible feats of ferocity from such small beings. Men and women, they still find with limbs missing and blood pouring from wounds that slaughter whole towns and cities in the name of profit. I have seen, with my own eyes, utter callousness in the hearts of humans. During the raising of Felar Prime, I watched a kill team sweep the outer habitats. A Falaran straggler, already bleeding out for a chest wound, stirred nearby. A human approached and leveled the barrel of his weapon to the Falaran's head. The devil, said the Falaran. The devil bought you. I saw the human inhale deeply, his chest swelling before it took a wad of burning brown paper from his lips. No, buddy, the human said. We're the ones at the helm. The devil's just along. For the ride.